the Election Commission of India has just released groundbreaking data on electoral bonds following a Supreme Court order shedding light on the intricate web of political funding in India. In a landmark verdict on 15 February 2024, the Supreme Court declared the electoral bonds scheme unconstitutional, citing concerns about anonymous political funding. This decision came after years of controversy surrounding the scheme, which allowed unlimited anonymous donations to political parties. The Election Commission of India has uploaded the data on electoral bonds on its website as received from State Bank of India. SBI, on as is where is basis, the data reveals some staggering figures. The Bharatiya Janta Party, BJP, emerged as the biggest beneficiary, receiving a whopping 6,566 crore rupees through 8,633 bonds. Meanwhile, the Congress received 1,123 crore rupees through 3,146 bonds. The BJP, often referred to as the Saffron Party, secured the majority of electoral bond funds, amounting to 54.77%. Following closely behind, the Congress received 9.37% of the funds, while the Trinamool Congress obtained 9.11%, equivalent to 1,092 crore rupees. Companies such as Apollo Tires, Lakshmi Mittal, Edelways, PVR, Keventer, Sula Wine, Wellspin, and Sun Pharma are among the donors of electoral bonds. Prominent entities like Torrent Power, Bharti Airtel, DLF Commercial Developers, and Vedanta are also notable contributors. Future Gaming, previously investigated by the Enforcement Directorate in March 2022, purchased electoral bonds totaling over 1,350 crore rupees under different company names. Vedanta LTD, led by Anil Agrawal, acquired bonds worth 398 crore rupees, while Sunil Mittal's conglomerate purchased a combined total of 246 crore rupees. Lakshmi Nivas Mittal, a notable figure in the steel industry, invested 35 crore rupees in bonds individually. Megha Engineering, headquartered in Hyderabad and involved in major infrastructure projects, secured bonds worth 966 crore rupees. Although the majority of bonds were issued in the names of political parties, donations to the Congress and the Samajwadi Party were attributed to the President, All India Congress Committee, and the Adhiksha Samajwadi Party, respectively. The top purchasers of electoral bonds include 1. Future Gaming and Hotel Services, 1,368 crore rupees to Mega Engineering. Infrastructures, 966 crore rupees. 3. QWIK Supply Chain, 410 crore rupees. 4. Vedanta, 400 crore rupees. 5. Haldia Energy, 377 crore rupees. The data, disclosed by the Election Commission of India ECI, reveals that approximately 1,260 entities purchased a total of 22,217 bonds worth 12,155.51 crore rupees between 12 April 2019 and 15 February 2024. During this period, Political parties redeemed 20,421 bonds valued at 12,769.09 crore rupees. Congress General Secretary Jairam Ramesh emphasized the party's ongoing demand for unique bond ID numbers, which would enable precise tracking of donors and recipients. In response to the electoral bonds data released by SBI, the Congress accused the BJP of engaging in corrupt practices. Mr. Ramesh outlined four tactics allegedly employed by the BJP. Quid pro quo, Mr. Ramesh pointed out instances where companies donated electoral bonds and subsequently received substantial government benefits. For example, Mega Engineering Infra donated over 800 crores rupees in electoral bonds and shortly after, they were awarded the 14,400 crore rupees Thanaburivli Twin Tunnel Project. 
Mr. Ramesh also raised concerns about missing data, highlighting the absence of information on 2,500 crores rupees worth of bonds from March 2018 to April 2019. He questioned the beneficiaries of these missing bonds, noting that in the initial tranche, the BJP allegedly received 95% of the funds, with this revelation shaking the foundations of political funding in India. The nation awaits further developments as the truth behind electoral bonds continues to unravel.